Hi and welcome to episode one of uh, Mobile Guardian Snippets that we put together. Uh, this episode I'll be going over logging into your Mobile Guardian portal and navigating your dashboard and some dashboard basics on how you can get it set up. So first and foremost, uh, my name is David Graham. I head up business development here at Mobile Guardian uh, and happy to, to reach out to you or if you have any questions, pop them through to my email address and uh, I'll be more than happy to make some time to sit with you and go through this. So yeah, let's jump straight in. So I thought what better place to start with the snippet than to log in and you know can figure and see how it works with regards to logging in where you need to navigate and obviously what it looks like when you do log in so obviously you would head over to mobileguardian.com head over to the login tab hit that and uh, obviously pick the region that you uh, signed up for so whether it's uk and europe or us and the rest of the world in this case for me it's us and the rest of the world uh, and then obviously log in with the credentials that you created. So you just give me a second. I'm going to log in. And this will bring you straight through to your dashboard. So what your dashboard is going to look like uh, on your initial sign in and uh, is essentially a blank slate uh, and you'll be able to set that up as you'd like to. So if you look at my dashboard right now, this is in a set up in a specific way for things to me uh, that's important to me and that I would like to monitor. So it's a great central place to be able to monitor various aspects uh, in, your, in your device environment. So, you know, with some schools, they might want to uh, monitor what the type the top device models are you know what's the OS versions of these devices in our environment uh, what are the websites being visited uh, what are the blocked websites being visited top block keywords and you can build out a nice central dashboard for anyone to log in and that might need a, a general overview of your school so this is quite popular with uh, principals or perhaps even uh, superintendents uh, that manage multiple districts just to be able to log in and get a very quick snapshot of what's happening in the environment uh, are there any issues happening you know what applications are being used uh, what's popular apps and everything to that extent so it's just a great way for a school to be able to centrally manage everything really really simple to use uh, let me go ahead and just add some columns here for you so let's just go ahead and delete these and delete this one uh, very simple to use. All you would do is click add row, obviously pick what you want to. So let's go ahead and select another 100%. So it takes up its own panel. And what gets so cool about this is now you can start building it uh, as to what you would like to. So if you have a look here, things to monitor, things like top device models. So like you saw in the top, you know, if you have multiple different types of devices, what are your numbers when it comes to that? What operating systems are they on? Uh, which ones are recently enrolled uh, on Mobile Guardian? So you can always keep on top and make sure that uh, your devices are being enrolled. Uh, unenrolled and deleted devices, just ensuring that uh, everything goes on. Uh, some devices needing attention, so perhaps uh, there's an issue uh, becoming full with memory or it's running out of disk space. You can be alerted to that. Any updates that might be available, anything missing with regards to application or books can be displayed. Um, going down into profiles not acknowledged and uh, profiles with schedules end in soon, which we'll go over a bit later, uh, and just being able to manage that. Taking it further then with the web filter, you know, what are the block websites being visited? What are the top website categories? What are the top uh, blocked website categories and keywords kind of floating around within your environment? Um, another obviously one, especially around iOS, is uh, BPP license reaches and reaching cap. So you'll be able to have a nice high-level overview um, with Apple School Manager and Mobile Guardian to talk to one another to say, okay, uh, this application is reaching the end of its threshold. We might need to purchase some more, uh, and so on. And then obviously top use Chromebook apps as well as applications that have been installed. And then just a little bit more on the Apple side. Uh, you know, your Apple, your AMPNS list, uh, your DEP list can be up here, as well as any tokens that might be expiring. So just to summarize the section, it's essentially a nice way to centrally manage and have a central view of what's going on in your environment at a given time. So it really just gives a nice high level view uh, for anyone that just needs basic kind of uh, uh, insight into what's happening with the school. They don't need to deep dive further into devices. 
that just gives that nice snapshot uh, of what's happening. So yeah, that's mo that's the intro to uh, signing in and dashboards. Uh, let's have a look at what's coming up next. Uh, coming up next, we're going to be going over managing your students with Mobile Guardian. Uh, and please feel free to join us for the next one. Cheers.